Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for the time that's given to my group to explain about this pitch. Now, before I'm going, or my friend going to explain about this pitch, I would like to introduce myself to you. My name is Chandyawan Talambanua. I'm an explainer. All right, for the first time, we will explain about this pitch. Now, we present this pitch in the three parts. The first is understanding of the speech. The second is the form of sentence. And the last is seven kinds of speech arch. All right, I will tell or I'm going to tell, explain about the speech. According to your 1996, Cooper's the speech arts is a performance action via utterance. Another definition from Crystal and Sukumi mentioned the speech arts is a theory which analyzes the role of utterance in relation to the behavior of speaker and listener to interpret communication according to Asian speech arch is theory of primitive English. Next is the form of sentence. There are four forms of sentence. The first is simple sentence. So what is the simple sentence? A simple sentence contains of one independent clause. And what is independent clause? Independent clause is one subject followed by one verb or verb phrase is express of single idea. Example of a simple sentence. I'm happy. I'm the subject and happy is a verb. Robert doesn't eat meat. Robert is the subject and doesn't eat meat is the verb of verb phrase. My brother and went to the small midnight. So my brother and I is the subject and to the smallest night is the verb phrase. And the last subject is this is a new laptop computer has already pressed twice. The second of the form of sentence is the compound sentence. A compound sentence has two independent clauses joined by a linking word. The linking word is like and, but, or so, yet, and however. Its independent clause could be a sentence by itself, but we connect them with a linking word. Example of the compound sentence. I'm happy, but kids are always complaining. I'm happy is a first independent clause, and the kids are always complaining is the second independent clause, and the but is uh, a linking verb. So the compound sentence is half the independent clause and half one linking verb. Another example is Robert doesn't eat meat, so Barbana made a special vegetarian just for him. The next is my brother and I went to the small last night, but we didn't buy anything. The third form of sentence is a complex sentence. A complex sentence has one independent clause and one or more dependent clause. A dependent clause cannot be a complex sentence by itself. Example of the complex sentence, I'm happy even though I don't make much money. Robert, a friend of no science high school, doesn't admit. So in the sentence, we have one independent clause and one or more uh, the dependent clause. And the last form of sentence is the compound complex sentence. A compound complex sentence contains three or more uh, clause, two independent clause and less one dependent clause. Example, I'm happy even though I don't make much money, but my kids are always complaining since we can't afford to buy the new toys. Next is the seven kinds of the speech us. The first is assertive utterance. According to Kader 1998 styles in the assertive function speakers and writers use language to tell what they know or believe. Assertive language is connected with fact. Example, I fought for a reason in the last election. The next example is most practices are made from the sorry bands. Chop arm lips. Chop arm like boss is a smile from the pitch. So this assertive utterance is can be true or can be in this hoax. The next type is the performative utterance. Speech arts that bring about the styles of a virus, the name are called performative. 
performative deterrents are well spoken by someone who is right to make them accepted and in sentiments which they are appropriate. The verb include bad, decry, baptize, name, remind, command. Example of the performative deterrents is I beat treat no Trump. Next is we accept you over. I decry this meeting do not. So it's all about the performative deterrence. The third is predicative deterrence. Predicative are speech arts in which the speaker makes an excellent or adjustment about the acts of another, usually the addresses. This includes ranking, accusing, appraising, condoning. Predicative verbs include accuse, chance, accuse, tank in the explanation frame. Are you of foreign? Example of the predicative utterance is I accuse you of putting an eyes. Next is I congratulate you for performance so well. Number four is expressive utterance. Where's a predicative utterance is about what the addresses has previously done. An expressive utterance springs from the previous action of failure to act of the speaker, or perhaps the present result of this action or virtuous. Expressive deterrents are those ex expressive and speaker involved. The most common expressive verbs in a sense of the expensive are acknowledge it, admire, converse, journey, apologize. Example of expressive deterrents is we admire that we were mistaken. I apologize for having disturbed you. Number five is directive deterrence. Like from the topic, we know this trend is to direct someone. Directive deterrence are those in which the speaker tries to get the addresses to perform on some part of the friend for performing an act. It is the directive deterrence has the pronoun you as actor. Whether the word is truly present in the utterance or not. Example from the directive utterance is close the door or please uh, up this 500 pounds. Number six is commissive utterance. Speech us that commit a speaker to a course of action or call it commissive utterance. This include promise, pages, dress, and quotes. Commissive verbs are included by agree, ask, refuse, swear, all with following pronouns. They are professive and con concerned with the speaker, commentative, the future action. A commissive predicate is one that they can be used to commit ourselves or refuse to submit ourselves to some future action. Example of commissive utterance is I swear. To show I will be tall again. And the last is the party utterance. Party utterance is to establish rapport between members of the same associate. Party language has a less and first function than the six types discussed above, but it's also less important. Party utterance include greetings, farewells, politic from last such as thank you, you're welcome, excuse me, and these are not really very cut or expensive. Alright, that's all about my explanation of the speech and I hope you enjoyed this video and I good for all of you. Thank you. Yahoo.